Today, we will show you five historical buildings that used to look completely different from what we know today. Included are a city that disappeared for centuries and a mysterious building about whose original appearance there is now a completely new theory after many mysteries. It will be very interesting, so be sure to stay tuned here at Wonderlane. We start our journey into the past in ancient Egypt, more precisely at the Pyramids of Giza. They belong to the oldest known buildings on Earth and are the only preserved of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Surely you have seen pictures and videos of the pyramids which were built over 4,500 years ago. Although they are still very impressive after such a long time, they looked much more noble at the time of their creation. The weathered structures originally did not only consist of the step-like arranged limestone blocks as they are known today, but once had a completely smooth white surface. The pyramids were covered with polished sandstone slabs. Curiously enough, it is not due to environmental influences or natural decay that nothing of this can be seen today. After the pyramids of Giza had been standing for several thousand years, it was decided in the Middle Ages to tear down the precious white sandstone slabs, crush them, and use them to build houses in nearby Cairo. From ancient Egypt, we now come to Germany more precisely to Dresden. One of the most famous historical buildings of the city, which is even known worldwide, is the Dresden Ladies' Church. If you're not too old, you probably know it only in its present form. The Dresden Lady Church is a beautiful Baroque domed building, and when you stand in front of it, you have no doubt that the church has looked the same as it does now for centuries. In fact, however, the church changed its appearance violently throughout history. Originally, it was built around the year 1020 only out of wood. In the 12th century, the church was then built of stone, and in the 14th and 15th century, a sacral building in the Gothic style was created, which had nothing to do with the appearance of today's woman's church. It was not until 1726 that the domed building as we know it today came into being. But this does not mean that it is really the dome building of that time. During the Second World War, the woman's church was almost completely destroyed by air raids. For decades, only the ruined walls stood until the church was rebuilt in an unbelievably elaborate way from 1996 to 2005. Through specially developed computer programs, it was precisely traced how each stone was placed before the destruction, and so it was possible to bring the church for a total of 180 million euros, of which 115 million euros came from donations, back to its former form. Even if it looks historic, the church is therefore, in principle, still a fairly new building. From Dresden, we are now going to another building which is really, really old, namely to Stonehenge, the world-famous stone buildings in England, which were built over 4,000 years ago. Even though most people know the site from movies and photos, only in its current form, it once looked very different. Where today only huge stones are standing in a circle, which are partly connected with capstones at the top, there was probably some kind of building in former times, according to the latest findings. The standing stones formed a kind of columns. Between them, there should have been walls, and the capstones on top should have served as balconies, above which was a roof. Consequently, one can imagine the former Stonehenge more like an arena where events would be held below. The visitors could watch them from the upper balconies and were protected from rain and wind by the roof. While it was assumed in former times that Stonehenge was only a religious cult place, in which probably also sacrifices took place, one suspects after the latest findings that in the former building, for example, theater performances or music performances could have taken place. For the next historic structure, the sky is the limit more precisely, to 2,430 meters altitude in the mountains of Peru. This is where the legendary ruined city of Machu Picchu is located. The terraced city was built in the 15th century by the Inca people and consists of a total of 216 stone buildings. At its height, up to a thousand people are said to have lived here until the city in the mountains was abandoned and forgotten, presumably after a war. It was not until 1911 that it was rediscovered, and today the ruined city is visited by up to 1.4 million tourists annually. Even though the ruins are still very well preserved for their age, the city used to look different than it does today. For example, the houses had several floors and thatched roofs, and the terraces of the city were planted with potatoes and corn to provide food for the inhabitants of the high city. Despite its age, the city also had an elaborate canal system, which provided the inhabitants with fresh spring water and drained sewage to the outside. Some of the temple walls are also said to have been decorated with ornaments made of gold. Incidentally, little of all this was visible at the time of Machu Picchu's discovery 111 years ago. 
The entire city lay dormant under a dense, primeval forest-like cover of plants, which first had to be removed at great expense so that the city could be visited by tourists. The world-famous Sphinx of Giza in Egypt also looked completely different than it does today. The huge stone structure, which depicts a reclining lion with a human head, was probably built around 2500 BC and has been standing in the desert for well over 4,000 years. During all this time, surprisingly, the body of the Sphinx was mostly buried in the sand, as this photo from 1858 also shows. Although there have been excavations over the centuries, the body was not actually found until the beginning of the 20th century. It is known that the head of the Sphinx originally had a beard and a nose, which broke off at some point. When and how this exactly happened is not known, and no, it definitely did not happen like this. Less known, however, is that the Sphinx was once elaborately painted, as evidenced by paint residues found on it. Namely, the body of the Sphinx was covered with reddish ochre paint and additionally decorated with ornaments, while its head was elaborately designed. Both the face and the cloth over the head were painted with different colors, which made the Sphinx look much more human than we know it today. If you enjoyed this video about the original look of historic buildings, be sure to check out our video about historic works that changed the world forever. We hope you enjoy it, and we'll see you next time here at Wonderlane.